Okay, today I'm going to run air to the mill. I've got the new uh, California Air Tool air compressor here, 30 gallon uh, tank. Uh, I've got it put together and I'm gonna run some air hose. I've got it here behind the cam camera trying to relax. It's a black, I believe it's 10 millimeter air hose that'll supply the mill. Um, I've got a little kit also behind the camera with some fittings enable to plumb the airline and uh, yeah shouldn't be a long video uh, the goal is to get it installed I'll probably run this black tubing through uh, EMT conduit just to uh, well it's it's so uh, curly you'll see it's kind of a mess so I think I'm gonna put some EMT conduit on the wall then run the black pipe or the black uh, 10 millimeter airline through and then uh, we'll get it hooked up to the mill and fired up Let's do this. I feel like Austin, that guy in the Austin Powers movie trying to flip that thing around. Need three hands. I think one more will be adequate. And we'll run the we'll run the, the hose. Well, here's a view of this tile you don't normally see. That seems annoying. Hmm. I don't know if I want to put maybe some 100 mile an hour tape on this. I'm sorry, that's army speak for duct tape. It's 
some tape on here. But I got enough hose. I think about 30 feet. Change your plans. I've got some uh, non metallic uh, water conduit. Um, I'm going to put this on top of the machine, which is just over 38 inches uh, wide. So we'll cut off 38 inches worth and run the wire through that. This is weird Teflon tape. Tissue paper. Hey Duchess. Why did the walrus go to the Tupperware party? He was looking for a tight seal. This is my new California Air Tools air compressor that I bought for the metal shop, and primarily for the mill. Uh, right now, it's just plumbed in uh, for the Silex 720, but down the road, um, I can always expand. Uh, it's the only tool in the metal shop that really needs air. Uh, so this is the Model 30020DCAD, or Delta Charlie Alpha Delta. It's pretty quiet at 70 decibels. It came on a pallet uh, with a cardboard box around it. That was pretty much the only packaging and it arrived in good, good condition. Um, in the package, it comes with two air filters, some tubing, um, some nuts, um, some hardware accessories to install uh, three feet. It sits on a tripod um, foundation. Um, it has um, an automatic uh, water purge at the base. Um, when the motor is in operation, it, uh, it spits out uh, water every two minutes. All right, so this air compressor includes an air drying system, an after cooler or condenser, an air drying column, um, and activated Aluma desiccant. On the other side here, you can't see. Uh, you'll see it later on in the video when I hook up the, uh, the airline. Um, there is a, an air regulator with one threaded out that you can put in whatever fitting you need. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and kick it on here in a second, but before I do that, I just wanted to say that, that I wanted to provide um, as clean and pure as air as I could to the style. Um, and I went with this and I, and I didn't want something super noisy. Now I'd love to have, you know, a, a a two-phase or three-phase five-horsepower behemoth so I could run a power hammer uh, for blacksmithing, but this should do the trick for what I need right now. So clean air, take care of the machine, really help the automatic tool center, 
And, and with 30 gallons, I think, uh, down the road, there'll be uh, enough, um, enough air in here to, to run um, air mist or something like that uh, while I'm building. It's a two horsepower motor, 6.4 CFM at 40 PSI, 5.3 CFM at 90 PSI, and again, a 30 gallon steel tank, an air drying system, and an automatic drain valve. So let's go ahead and kick it on. Um, make sure that's off, that's off. And turn it on. This is the auto drain. There's a manual button you can press to test it. And that is what it sounds like when it's filling up. There's also a, they gave me about 18 inches of black line, airline that you can put on there. And they say that it, it makes it quieter when it purges like that. So this is with that line installed. And you'll see here in a second, I don't like what happens. And I don't know if it really even helps. <laughs> yeah, not a fan of that. All right, I think this will be the final home uh, for, the, uh, for the air compressor. I've got it canted at an angle to fit in this corner, plenty of air around it uh, for, the, for the heat. Um, I, I, uh, I've gone ahead and put the hose on the automatic air purge uh, because uh, in the corner it's, it's making making a racket and I've uh, just pinned it here to this baseboard and it should be good. All right let's turn on the mill. Well guys unfortunately I'm not going to be able to power up the machine and test uh, and test the air. Um, it's I've got air leaking out of this this uh, air regulator and, and oiler system. Um, when I, I mean, I'll, I'll turn it on and, and you can hear for yourself. But I've, I've got air just leaking straight out of here, and I, and I don't, I don't know why, and I don't know if this can be adjusted or if it needs to be replaced or what. So I'll go ahead and turn the air on. You can hear it for yourself. Put this back. Turn the air on. Yeah, so it's just leaking out this hose. So this might be a, a total newbie mistake. Maybe I'm, I'm missing something really easy. If anybody who, who watches this knows, please let me know. Um, but I'll probably call my rep or reach out to, to uh, another style user and and try and get this result. Thanks for watching.